the toll road visits the Mackinac Bridge in Michigan. Toll Road here on the banks of the, I believe, uh, Michigan, or is that Huron? Huron. Huron. Oh, Papa Jim. There's Michigan, there's her, and there's the bridge, Mackinac Bridge. The Mighty Mac Bridge was completed in 1957 and was designed by David B. Steinman. We've got the Michigan Black Squirrel here. Check out this little Michigan Black Squirrel. The bridge's span is almost five miles long and connects the lower and upper peninsula of the state of Michigan. The towers reach a height of 552 feet. To the right, Lake Huron, and to the left, Lake Michigan. This is a true toll bridge and you have to pay a small fee to cross. Officially a U for now. Mackinac Bridge View Park. The bridge is made of an astounding 42,000 miles of cable, weighs over a billion tons, and contains in it nearly 6 million rivets and bolts. Once a year on Labor Day, the bridge is open for walkers. On September 22, 1989, a lady died when her 1987 Yugo plunged over the three-foot high railings. Investigation showed the driver lost control due to excessive speed and her vehicle bumped the bridge four-inch high median and then crossed back through the northbound lanes, hitting the curb, jumped an outer guardrail, and fell 200 feet off the bridge. If this scares you too much to drive across the bridge, the Mackinac Bridge Authority has a driver assist program that will take you across for no fee. In 1959, Captain John Lapo flew a Boeing B-47 Stratojet beneath the bridge. Following a general court-martial, he was grounded for life. The Mackinac Bridge is actually part of I-75, which runs from just north of this point all the way down south to Florida. Hope you enjoyed this little visit to the Mighty Mac Bridge, and who knows where the toll road will lead to next.